This is a tutorial showing how to paint an animation in Harmony Essentials, Advanced, and Premium. The first thing I'm going to do is go to my drawing view. I'm going to take a look at my bird. And the next thing I'm going to do is go to my view and show and show strokes, or I can use the hotkey K. And now I can actually see the stroke, and that what I'm talking about when I say stroke is the spline. Uh, in the case of a pencil tool, which is what I used here, there's a spline. If it was a drawing, if it was the brush tool, there'd be a contour, an outline of the uh, each brush stroke. So, uh, I'm going to first close any gaps in my drawing that would uh, deny either the, the paint to stay inside the drawing or um, to stay inside the areas I want it to be. In this case, I'm going to use the wing feather color to um, paint these long outer wing feathers. So the first thing I'm going to do is find some gaps, for instance like this one. I'm going to go into my paint bucket and I'm going to pick close gap. which is part of the drop down. I'm going to go ahead and draw a line and it closes the gap for me. I'm going to go back and I'm going to look for another spot which I think I saw up here. Yep. I'm going to close these gaps up here and hopefully those are all of the gaps. I'm going to go to wing feather color. I'm going to click that. I'm going to go back to paint bucket. I'm going to hit paint and tap. And there we go. So we've painted this entire area and it looks like it didn't miss any spots. And I can do the same over here. Close up my gaps. Make sure there's no holes anywhere. Oops. See if I have any gaps here. Close that one. Usually if you see two yellow boxes together, it usually means if there's no tiny blue box, there's nothing crossing, which means it's probably open. So I'm going to back up to my paint bucket again and tap and it's closed off. Now I can also um, do kind of a lasso motion if I use the paint unpainted, because if I use the paint, I can also end up painting these strokes as well, so I'd rather not do that. So if I use the paint unpainted tool, it will paint uh, it will paint the entire area without painting things that are already laid down. In this case, though, I want to use the feather color, and now I can see that it's colored actually everything. So I still want to keep these a different color, so I'm going to undo that, and I'm going to use the stroke tool to make more of a uh, pattern down here for what I didn't draw with the um, pencil tool. I'm going to go ahead and close some of these off. And since you can't actually see the stroke uh, in any kind of render, you can go ahead and kind of overlap in some places. It's not going to affect your actual um, actual artwork when it's rendered. I'll close this off too. Alright, now if I color this with the paint unpainted again. Yep. Now the color stays. Uh, now the color stays where I want it to stay. I'm also going to paint this right here. I'm going to go ahead and grab the feet color, lasso this area. Looks like I've got some open spaces. Another way to handle open spaces is to go into Tool Properties when you're in uh, the Paint Bucket Tools, and I'm going to Tool Properties, which can be found by hitting the plus sign and finding it somewhere in your drop down. And I'm going to go ahead and this is the close gap. I'm going to tell it to close medium gap and try the paint unpainted again. Oh, oh there we go. I'm going to tap it and that'll actually get it done for me. So now I've got the foot color. Now I'm going to get to the last bit which would be the tail and I'll go ahead and paint unpaint that. And now I've got my coloration. The last one I'm missing is the beak. You can, like I said, you can either lasso or tap, as if you're using the paint on paint tool. And now I've got the beak color. So I painted that piece, and it was relatively quick. I'm going to go ahead and actually go to frame 25, because I have another interesting tool set to help you out with. And that is the apply to multiple drawings. And that can be found in the tool properties. So I noticed that my tail is actually cut off right here from the rest of the body. Not only that, but if I look at the rest of the animation, it actually doesn't move anymore. So if I were to lasso the bottom of the tail, that should actually 
color all the frames after frame 25. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that tool option and I'm going to use the red tail feathers and the paint unpainted area. I'm going to swipe across it and I'm going to check the rest of them and they are all painted. Well this one had a few gaps so I'm just going to tap the rest of this closed. And as you can see it actually painted the rest of these. Actually you have to be careful because if you manage to clip it in other places as you can see here you're running to the fact that you've actually painted a few other frames. So that's something to actually look out towards. But if you know you're in the clear and you've already painted those frames before this one, ideally you would have already painted these frames. So they wouldn't have turned red in the first place. And that is how you paint. There we go. And that's how you paint your animation.